apparently it's 20 years since Harry Potter came out. Since, and your yeah. balls have dropped since then, <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a relief to us all. <laughs> have you all, presumably you all been at the real Met Gala? No. Yes. Yeah. You, you haven't? You haven't? No, I have not. You have not? No. That's because you wear dresses oh. like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's entirely right. Yeah. I'm going to cry now. <laughs> Christine Baranski. Uh, our great actor, Michael Sheen. Now, do you know Michael Sheen? Do you know you no, know but what he seems to know me? Yes, yeah, so explain <laughs> the Michael Sheen connection. This is good. You like do you know this share? No. This is good. Well, I know nothing. <laughs> no, no. I think Sarah Silverman was quoted as saying that Michael Sheen, it's hard for me to say this, but Michael Sheen refers to his penis <laughs> as the great Christine Baranski. <laughs> <laughs> No. I think we should call him. <laughs> Long lasting career. Right. Um, oh no. Yeah, reliable. Reliable. Yeah. Tall and thin. Yeah. <laughs> is there a difference how men are around you now yes, there and before? Is, there no. I, like, <laughs> honestly, like comedy does not lead to dick. Trust me. <laughs> but no, we, when in, in... Goldie's different. She's a supermodel that danced her whole life. You can compare that. Well, I mean, really, you know, it just is not exactly that way. I never, <laughs> I never felt like I was like that ever. Really? No, you know, I my was dad small, has a breasted. I had skinny ankles. I <laughs> had my mouth was too big. There are a lot of things that were wrong with me, and my eyes didn't like. Things. Yeah. Even the most gorgeous women yes. have these insecurities. Who sculpted this? Uh, <laughs> exactly. I mean, like that, you know? Yeah, first, first <laughs> dates. Wow. What a, it's a crazy thing when you're talking about what's the worst thing that happened on your date, you know? We talked about that. And, and I forgot, but I threw up. <laughs> he tried to kiss me, and it made me sick. <laughs> and I, I, I literally rolled down the window and I threw up. And I said, I'm so sorry, but you make me sick. <laughs> it was a bad moment. Julie Walters, what? did you meet your... That's right. What? Leave me alone. <laughs> To know. I, well, didn't you meet your you met your husband in a club, didn't Mind you? Mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> the whole content of the chat show falling apart. <laughs> Mind you, why are you asking me all these questions? I'm tired. <laughs> but did you go clubbing a lot? Clubbing? Clubbing? Yes, yeah, back at, Yes, I did in Birmingham. Yes. My mother didn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what's that got to do with it? But isn't that where you met your husband? <laughs> oh, no, I met him in a bar. Oh, a bar? In Fulham, yes. Oh, in Fulham? It was really... full of frightfully posh people. It was full of who, what we used to call hooray Henrys. Everybody, everybody was frightfully posh. And I said, I remember saying at the time, I bet no, I was a bit drunk. And I remember saying, I bet nobody here is a member of the Labour Party. And he said, I am, actually. And that was it. And then we met, and then he came home and never moved out. <laughs> he mended my washing machine, told me I needed a pump. I misunderstood him. <laughs> A wee with Jennifer Aniston in New York. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Security wouldn't let me in the toilet, and I met her a year before with John Mayer, and um, she was like, "No, it's fine. You can come in." And we sat down, and I could hear her. Pssst. <laughs> <laughs> and then through the cubicle, she's like, "So how, how are you, honey?" And I just called her Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Aniston's piss come out. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> so you've got the legacy players. You've got the legacy players. You've got Carrie, Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill. So was that helpful in any way? Uh, Daisy, did you get advice? <sighs> Carrie, go on. What would you tell me? I said not to go through the crew like wildfire. <laughs> <laughs> That's helpful. Did you take that advice? Always, always. Yeah. I also told her not to take any advice from me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
which is really good advice. It was, yeah, good advice. <laughs> no, but it was like this. Um, I didn't know, thankfully, till later that I was sort of a, uh, it's hard to say, a sex symbol or something, whatever that means. <laughs> so uh, I went into a store one day, and uh, uh, this boy said, you know, oh, are you, you know, Princess Leia? Yes. Uh, he said, I thought of you, about you every day from when I was 12 to when I was 22. And I said, every day? And he said, well, four times a day. <laughs> oh, what? See, you have that to look forward to. <laughs> and she does. Do you want me to go into my honeymoon now? Yeah. Uh, please do. Please do. We're, we're on a roll, Lady and Connor. Yeah, yeah, well, Chadwick I, looks uh, shocked. Uh, uh, <laughs> was that when people, when I wrote this book, people thought it was going to be a little lavender sort of scented memoir. And I said, <laughs> well, actually, I'm afraid it's not going to be. And then everybody said, oh, I'm going to buy it for my mother. And I said, well, I'm not sure. I do hope your mother's broad-minded. <laughs> <laughs> I've sent it to mine. <laughs> Mothers are rather broad-minded. Yes. Anyway, um, Colin and I, I had the most fantastic wedding at Hoko. I was treated as a, a, as a son. There were three tents, three... I had three wedding cakes. And Tony Snowden took my um, wedding photographs and my father rather rudely called him Tony Snapshot, which I think he <laughs> <laughs> actually never forget. Um, and anyway, there I was, having had this amazing wedding, wonderful wedding dress and everything like that. And we, we were going to Paris for my honeymoon and we arrived very late at night at the Lotti Hotel and um, went up to the, I imagine, the sort of bridal suite. Well, he lay down and went to sleep. And that, <laughs> that was my honeymoon. I mean, what I've been longing for a night of passion, you know. Yes. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, and then the next day we spent looking, we went to the Louvre or something. And then Colin <laughs> said, uh, I'm quite bored by that. And then Colin <laughs> said, Well, um, I've got a great treat for you. And so I was absolutely thrilled. I thought dinner at the Ritz, you know. And I put on my best dress, all that sort of thing. We got into the car. And I did rather see, I saw the Ritz miles away, but off we went to the outskirts. And we stopped at this really seedy hotel. <laughs> my heart sank. I thought, up we went to this room, and there were two seats. Um, they were, they were wing-backed um, velvet seats. And so I sat, and on the bed were two really disgusting people making love. Uh, I was squelching about it, and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so I, I sat, sat back in my chair, closed my eyes, and I read, simply didn't want to look at Collie. I didn't know what he was doing. You know. <laughs> I sat there, praying, and then they kept on saying, would you like to join in? <laughs> uh, and I said, well, look, it's very kind of you. Very kind of you. Terribly kind of you. Uh, but, but, but I really don't know. Uh, no, thank you. No. <laughs> sucks, and you got to face it. Ugh. But it, it's interesting, because America is really so youth-obsessed. I mean, how... Oh. And, and, and in the film, you show, you know, kind of, that it is hard for a woman of your age to get the jobs. It's beyond difficult. The only jobs really left now for women, unless they get friendly with people to do films, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but the only jobs left are really commercials. I just thank God, my, I made my yearly nut this year on a, a product called Girly, which is for dry vagina. And it's, um, <laughs> is it here yet? <laughs> Well, anyone knows the heartbreak of dry vagina. <laughs> I, was... <laughs> I was perfect for it. I... Camels follow me home. <laughs> Three Jewish men are trying to rent my uterus instead of going to Miami. <laughs> And there's... <laughs> thank God for these commercials. There's one called an, uh, uh, Zestra. Has that come here yet? <laughs> <laughs> it's like women's uh, Viagra. Has that happened here yet? It's women's Viagra. And uh, they have this big discussion with me. Should they make it in pill form? This is honest to God truth. It was in the newspapers. Pill form or cream? Because 
they didn't know which would do better, and they finally decided these idiots will do it in cream because if it's in pill form in a bar, a man can drop it in a woman's drink and oh. she won't know it. But if you're in a bar and a guy goes, so where you from? <laughs> Bendy and doing the trapeze thing. Was there a moment when I think you you overexerted yourself? It was it in front of Hugh. Okay. <laughs> See, here's what happened. <laughs> Let me just through the air literally. So here's the story. People. Literally. All right. Yeah. So we were doing. I'm not going to name the person because it's embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> the point is we were doing a stunt in front of Hugh Jackman. Now I have very few scenes with Hugh Jackman, and um, was I was very I was very nervous. It was not no, you. Okay. It's not you. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I was on my, you know, my A game because this is Hugh Jackman. And I do not want to mess up. So we're doing this, 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 this thing where I'm basically up in the air and I spin down and I get caught and I heard a fart. <laughs> <laughs> now wait. We all heard the fart. We all heard the fart. <laughs> now, as a professional, I was going to carry on. It was not me. <laughs> I just want to clarify right here, right now, it was not me. So they're laughing. The other person. Okay, is laughing and Hugh is laughing. I'm like, okay, are we just gonna like pretend like it didn't happen? Are we gonna like laugh about it? And what happened was the person who was a grown man blamed it on me. Yeah. Oh. So Hugh thought that I farted. <laughs> but the, the crazy thing, I, I would never. No do that. one thought that was a you. No one. <laughs> no. Listen, let me tell you something. Yeah. If I ever farted in front of you. Yeah. It would definitely be silent but deadly. I would never. <laughs> Never audibly, never audibly. You know what I'm saying? I'm a lady. Remember to self.